A name can mean so many things. It is a link to our past and our history. We may feel that we have to prove ourselves worthy of our names and to honor those that came before us. When I was born on October 30, 1984, my parents were faced with a difficult choice. My mom wanted to name me after my great uncle Simon, who had the same birthday, while my father was set on giving me my uncle's full name, Alfonso José Sintago. Alfonso died at the age of 16, attempting to overthrow a dictator. Being given my uncle's full name constantly reminded me that I did not solely pull myself up by my bootstraps. We are all pushed by the past into our tomorrows. I was motivated by the memories of the life Alfonso lived and the life he was deprived of. My grandfather, Rinaldo, and Alfonso attempted to overthrow Rafael Leonidas Trujillo, who ruled the Dominican Republic with an iron will from 1930 to 1961. Among his many human rights abuses, he ordered the massacre of over 17,000 Haitians, motivated partly by ethnic cleansing. In 1959, Rinaldo was the second commander of an invasion to overthrow Trujillo. He landed as part of a surprise attack in the hills of Constanza with fewer than 200 men. Alfonso joined him despite being only 16. They were brutally assassinated. Sacrificing their lives for freedom, they became known as the immortal race. I saw a lot about Alfonso when I turned 17. He had been a brave young man, filled with promise, who had volunteered to die for a country he did not personally know. When I was 17, I felt that from that day on, I could live the life Alfonso could never live. I am as proud of my mom's family as I am of my father's. My grandmother, Simon, and the rest of the Saez family had risen from humble origins but valued higher education. My grandmother, Carmen, and her sister, Antonieta, were the first two women who graduated from college in the state of Monagas, Venezuela. As much as Alfonso, I was motivated by the life of my great uncle, Simon Saez. He profoundly marked me, as he marked his students and most of our family. Simon organized student activism that contributed to the overthrow of Perez Jimenez in 1958. Simon founded a political party, served as a congressman, and was a history professor in Venezuela. I decided to pursue a master's in Latin American studies partly because of Simon, and I would later select my PhD research site based on Alfonso. I selected Simon's hometown, Maturin, as my research site for my 2008 MA thesis, where I researched Hugo Chavez agrarian reform. The last two years, I decided to go to the Dominican Republic for my doctoral research and to learn more about the lives of Rinaldo and Alfonso. I visited Constanza, where my grandfather landed for the coup, and the airport that was renamed after the movement. All of the Dominican Republic and Venezuela are heirs to their legacy. Through two research projects, working with agrarian cooperatives in Monagas, and contributing to an information and communication technologies for development project in the Dominican Republic, I hope to honor both of their legacies. While this is the story of my name, I believe that most of us have incredible ancestors and just sometimes don't know it, which is why I am an educator, to help students remember the people that came before them. We must work collectively and in interdisciplinary ways to solve the world's grand challenges. Thank you for shaping my life, Alfonso and Simon. With love, Alfonso José Sinjago.